Hi everyone. A problem was solved using the trend-adjusted exponential smoothing model previously. Here, three different problems are solved based on seasonality technique. Before starting the first problem, if you did not do yet, subscribe and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. Let us start with the first problem. The data in the following table represents the volume of calls received between 9 and 10 a.m. for 21 days. Calculate the seasonal relative for each day for that hour using the simple average method. In this problem the seasons are the days. To solve such problem, we have to do three steps. The first step is to calculate the seasonal average. In this case the average of each day. The average of Tuesday is 67 plus 60 plus 64 divided by 3 equals 63.667. The average of Wednesday is 75 plus 73 plus 76 divided by 3 equals 74.667. And so until the calculation of the average of Monday. The second step is to compute the overall average. That is equal 63.667 plus 74.667 plus 84.667 plus 97.667 plus 88 plus 40 plus 52.333 divided by 7 equals 71.571. The last step is to calculate the seasonality relative for each day by dividing the average of each day by the overall average. So, the seasonality relative of Tuesday is 63.667 divided by 71.571 equals 0 0.8896. The seasonality of Wednesday is 74.667 divided by 71.571 equal 1.0432. Continue in the same way to find the seasonality relative for all days. The second problem. The following equation summarizes the trend portion of quarterly sales of condominiums over a long cycle. Sales also exhibit seasonal variations and the seasonal relatives are shown in the following table. Using the given information, prepare a forecast of sales for each quarter of next year, and the first quarter of the year following that. As stated in the trend equation t equals zero at the first quarter of last year. It is required to find the forecast for the next year and the first quarter of the following year. So. We need to find the values of corresponding t. The following table will help us. For the last year, d equals 0 for the first quarter. So, d equal 1 for the second one, d equal 2 for the third one and t equal 3 for the fourth quarter. For this year, d equals 4 for the first quarter, d equal 5 for the second one, d equal 6 for the third one and t equal 7 for the fourth quarter. While for the next year, d equals 8 for the first quarter, d equal 9 for the second one d equal 10 for the third one and t equal 11 for the fourth quarter. And for the following year t equal 12 for the first quarter. So, we will use d equal 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 to compute the forecast for the next year and the first quarter of the following year. Substitute with these values of t in the given trend equation. f8 equal 40 minus 6.5 multiplied by 8 plus 2 multiplied by 8 to the power 2 equal 116. F9 equal 40 minus 6.5 multiplied by 9 plus 2 multiplied by 9 to the power 2 equal 143.5. F10 equal 40 minus 6.5 multiplied by 10 plus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power 2 equal 175. F11 equal 40 minus 6.5 multiplied by 11 plus 2 multiplied by 11 to the power 2 equal 210.5. F12 equal 40 minus 6.5 multiplied by 12 plus 2 multiplied by 12 to the power 2 equal 250. Now, using the given seasonality relatives, the forecast for the first quarter of next year equal 116 multiplied by 1.1 equal 127.6 approximately equal 128 unit. The forecast for the second quarter of next year equal 143.5 multiplied by 1.0 equal 143.5 approximately equal 144 unit. The forecast for the third quarter of next year equal 175 multiplied by 0.6 equal 105 unit. The forecast for the fourth quarter of next year equal 210.5 multiplied by 1.3 equal 273.65 approximately equal 274 unit. And the forecast for the first quarter of the following year equal 250 multiplied by 1.1 equal 275 unit. The summary of the answer is illustrated in this table. The third problem the first table shows a tool and die company's quarterly sales for the current year. While the second table shows the seasonality relative of the four quarters. What sales would you predict for the first quarter of next year? As we learned before, the given data should be deseasonalized. Applying this. The deseasonalized sales of the first quarter is 88 divided by 1.1 equal 80. 
The deseasonalized sales of the second quarter is 99 divided by 0.99 equal 100. The deseasonalized sales of the third quarter is 108 divided by 0.9 equal 120. The deseasonalized sales of the fourth quarter is 141.4 divided by 1.01 equal 140. Well, the deseasonalized data for the four quarters are 80, 100, 120, and 140. Obviously, it has a trend, the sales of any quarter is 20 units more than the previous one. So, the trend forecast for the first quarter of the next year would be 140 plus 20 equal 160. To obtain the forecast for this period we have to multiply the trend forecast by the seasonality relative. So, the forecast of the first quarter of the next year equal 160 multiplied by 1.1 equal 176. After solving these problems, hopefully, you can apply this the seasonality technique by yourself. If you need more details, do not hesitate to contact me. This video is the last one that explains how to make a quantitative forecast using different techniques. The next videos explain how to monitor a forecast and calculate its accuracy. So, keep following us, and do not forget to subscribe and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. See you again.